Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yosril and welcome once again to Mark of the Ninja after a small technical hitch that wiped out a significant chunk of progress so a little bit of backtracking has occurred. Nevertheless, I believe I am more or less where I left off at the end of episode 10 so we continue to flit along the parapets of Karyan's castle. Is it Karyan? Karyan? I'm saying Karyan for some reason. Oh well, who cares. The children. But do you know what they used to call the ones who got the mark? The suicidal? Alright, oh, near enough. Okay, so that way is blocked, so we have no option but to go this way. And they have a dog. Wonderful. Well, if we hang below for a moment, then... Okay, guard's on a fairly long patrol path, so we let him walk away, then we drop the pooch and stash it somewhere before getting back onto the railings and dropping the guard. Shouldn't be too hard at all. Yeah, mum. Off you go. Wander away, be a stupid little guard. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So, wait patiently for guard to make his distance. Drop. Yoink! Hound is slumbering, and we'll quickly dump this body. Now then, tidy up in here, and wait. Careful waiting. Undetected. A foolish guard, and a very dead one. Two strokes, however, that is a most grave dishonour. Ninja of Clan Hisomu should be able to kill in one strike without exception. Now, do we need to get past this guy? I have a suspicion that we do. If only for secrets. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. There's a vent there. Now, if memory serves, we can actually track right past this guy. So, we'll wait for this to wear off. And if we drop down... Then again, maybe I was wrong. Okay, fine. So. Wait a minute. Okay, no. Fine, so we can just smash that. And then wait. And then smashy light. And back into hiding. Distracted fatally so, in fact. Yes, but not by you, and long after you are dead. Come on. Wear off the distraction. No yeah. But he is stabby and slashy. There we go. Dealt with. Now then, where do we go from here? Well, first things first, we hide the body. Honor is a most important thing, after all. So it's being neat and tidy. The vents are going to stink when we're done with this. Right, so... <laughs> Drop down once. Stab! Stab! And we'll just yeah, use you to get rid of a laser trap. There we go. Now then, what do we got? Awareness! Cue the awareness. We have... Power generated down there. Looks like it's feeding in from a location we can't get to. Ugh, very well, we shall need to disable this guard. Picky picky lock. Weighty weighty guard. Are you going to come close enough? No, a pity. Never mind. There you go. Tiptoe and stab. There we go. Now then. No, or he just forgot about the failsafe on his guard. Now then, Good. pop. Now let's get out of here. That does indeed sound tempting. What's in this vent, though? Drop. Let's go check it out. Slide. And oh, right, we could disable the power. Fine. Just being thorough. And while we're at it, yoink, 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 yoink. And we'll dump this body as well, since I don't think we're going to need them anymore. 
Down you go. They're really going to have to call maintenance when this is done. Now then, back into the vent system. Pop up here. And okay, now, if memory says last time we went high. So you know what, this time, let's go low, see what it gets us. A world of pain with that dog blocking the way. Ugh. High might actually be the better approach. Oh! Control, grapple, there we go. Almost got fried. Almost doesn't count. So, yoink, yoink. And now we must cross the parapets. Now there are two guards up there. Now last time I ended up hanging this guy from the telegraph pole and terrorizing them that way. But can we get to this guy undetected? Hmm. I have a better plan. Let's drop a spike mine there. Then we're going to deliberately set off the dog and bait them over. So wait for the lightning. Wait for it. There we go. Yoink! Yoink! Whoop! Okay, guard is still tracking, so... Come on. Yoink! Okay, so he's paranoid. Now then. Okay, that does not actually help my situation any. Hmm. At least we got rid of the dog, that's something I suppose. Out. Break. Break. Aha, there we go, and a drop kill like so. Stabby! And they are both disposed of. Not particularly respected either now. As memory serves, we can hook this guy up here, and then wait for the fun to start. Cue terror in three... no. Come on. I want the terror. Give me the terror. Honestly, can't you guys just cooperate and be looking the right way at the time? Ugh, get on with it. Okay, so we have one guard sitting there. Basically, it's going to hinge on this other guard on the walking patrol seeing something. Or we could just do it the way we're meant to, which I suspect is going to involve smashing that spotlight above us. Oh, come on. Then, okay. Damn it, we got the scene just for a second, so drop, drop, damn it. Fine. Well, with a bit of luck, we'll actually see him now, so. Or maybe not. He Gods, how stupid are these guards? Apparently the answer is very. Okay, right, plan B in that case, we'll let this guard come over. Grab him. There we go, lost some points, but at least we disposed of the walking guard. Now we have to get rid of the standing guard. Yoink! Yes, there is! Right, not exactly the way it went last time, but you know what? 
we'll just leave a little decoration on the Christmas tree. Now, was there anything over here? Uh, as memory serves, no, there was not. So, onwards to great retellings. And only a slight amount of shame. Okay, flit across the parapets. Flit, 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 flit. Is there anything here? Ah, this looks promising, does it not? A hidden entrance. Push, push, push the crate. Drop down. And again, this has very definitely got the look of Puzzler about it, so... Okay. Lasers. Yes, we love lasers. Oh, shut up, ratty. Now then. Push, 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 push the rats into the lasers? Okay, fine. This is probably going to cost me karma somehow. There we go. Fry one, fry two. So, rats dealt with. Then we need to pull this crate over here. And we have the third Hisomu scroll. Excellent. So, assuming that we're still talking about Tetsuji in those scrolls, he presumably got bored of retirement. So, does that come before the merchant told him about the venom or after it? It hardly matters. Anyway, pushing onwards. Now, careful consideration required. Drop to there. Drop to there. Too much light, too too much light, too much light, too much light, too much light. Oh, there you are! Once you have the mark, they treat you like an outsider. Strange, unpredictable, and dangerous. You're as good as banished. And when your mission's over, you're dead. Well, that's pretty much what we knew was going to happen anyway. Now, what do we got here? Some new choice. Ravenous insects, or noisy devour living air. Oh, yes, I... Let's at least try it, just for giggles' sake. Yeah, turning into a regular psychopath. Alright, so next once, next twice, and we shall take the ravenous insects. Now, how many of those do we have? Ah, there you are, Aura. Were you planning to let me use that platform? No? Fine, be like that. Women. Hallucinations. Yeah. Very well. Upwards. Now we have one guard there. We're going to have to use the lightning to get past him. Like so. Wait for the pause. Then just jump. Grapple. And since I am not in a merciful mood. Hi there. Stabby. While we're at it, let's dump the body. Going down. Yeah, that's one and truly hidden. Not sure what's down there, but since we have found all the voice scrolls, I'm willing to bet it's nothing of note. And apparently a very large pit if I got a body hidden bonus, so... Pushing onwards. Drink once. It twice. Okay, this could be troublesome. Okay, drop fast once, wait for the searchlight, drop again. Crawl, 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 crawl past the guard. Stabby. Droppy. I hope there's no one below us. Or well, this could be tricky. Yoink! Stabby. Through the ledge. That's a really good bugger. There is someone down there. Oops.
Ah, uh, damn it. Whoa! God damn it! That! That was a most clumsy and shameful display.